Hello everyone, I'm back again. Sorry for taking a little bit of time. I was having fun with Thanksgiving and doing all other stuff. I've seen that there's going to be a new update that is going to be including Phantom Snipers as well as the Christmas event or Christmas Equips. I don't see anything else, so there's that I guess. The Phantom Snipers, of course, there's going to be Volti and the other, the entire banner isn't actually that bad. They have Ari, Forte, and that other grass scroll that I keep on seeing on most banners that never looks appealing at all. I don't know when she was released, but I don't think she's ever been good. We've also been included with the login bonus, which is always nice to get an extra 30 crystals, and then some other items that will help with your quest of becoming better in the so on to the equips there is two equips that are going to be released during the event and that is going to be barbados mk roman numeral 2 and serenium stormers the one that looks pretty good that i would say that you'd want to aim for would probably be the physical one because that one seems like it could be very good for nuking since it increases your attack by 50 percent for 10 seconds and it also increases it by 30 percent more if you're an earth unit so it would be pretty good for volti or it could actually be good for ari since ari is also coming out um there's nothing too much to say about the defense equip it's it's all right. I could see it being used. Uh, I can't think of like a unit I could use it with, but, and of course it also shows the rate that you can get them at. Obviously you get more depending on how, like the harder the quest, the more likely you're to get it, which is nice. Also there's a releasing an extreme duel where it's going to be PVP, which is going to be nice because I know sometimes this battle isn't all that fun because it's like, oh, you can just nuke them. So there's going to be live PvP, which is going to be a lot nicer. And I am, for one, going to be using this quite a bit. And I don't know if you guys are going to be doing it, but you also get to have a possibility of creating your own room, having certain people. So if you want to play with your friends, it's easier to do that. You can also adjust the rules so that if you don't want someone just to be constantly recovering HP, you can limit them. And from what I see, you can also limit other stuff, which is nice if you know that your friend is only going to be doing one thing, which is kind of cool. And also, this will be only for players that are over level 50. So if you're level 50 or below, sorry. And now onto the Christmas equips. The Christmas equips are actually looking kind of decent. The one that I am going to definitely be aiming for is Joyful Santa Heart. This increases your arts gauge by 50 and increases everyone else's arts gauge by 20, but it does have a cooldown CT of 40 seconds, which is actually quite often and can actually be used in support teams, but also could be used in nuking comps since it gives you that extra 50. I don't know if anyone has Emperor, this would probably be a good equip for him. Next is Sweet Snow Priscilla. It does 50,000 fire damage magic, increases damage to enemy by 20% for 10 seconds. A fire unit, it increases it by an extra 20%. CT is 50 seconds. Um, and this could be used. I don't think it's all that good compared to some other equips. If you don't have any equips, this definitely could be used for a fire unit. And I would say since Heart or How just came out or uh, Yo just came out, and you just got them, this would be a very good equip to have with them. And I would recommend. Next is Dauntless Rainier Volti. This is 85,000 water damage magic, reduces enemies' water resistance and evasion by 30% for 10 seconds. I'm just going to say it, it's not good. I, I can't see anyone using this. Now there's Warm Santa Miranda, which, um, this could be pretty good with Miranda since it does in increase everyone's magic damage by 20% as well as reduces damage by 20 seconds. It has a CT or cooldown rate of 35 seconds, which isn't too bad and can be used for quite a bit of units that you want to have just as a defense slot where it could be good for magic. Next, there's Nostalgic Santa Simon. Uh, this one can be good since it has a lot of damage that it's involved, 16,000 to dark damage physical, which is pretty good. You could, you could technically 
go and equip nuke with this, but it does cost 10% of your health and it doesn't give you any other benefits. So if you just want that big damage instantly and you're fine with 10% of your max HP being gone instantaneously, it's fine. It's whatever you make of it. Next there's Dreaming Lanadol, which does 35% light damage magic, reduces enemies light and magic resistance by 35% for 10 seconds. It has a cooldown rate of 65 seconds, not looking too good. I know that Victoire's True Equip is a lot better than this, so if you don't have that, I guess this could be the next step. But also, Juno's True Equip can be pretty good for this as well. So I guess this could be used if you don't have any of those equips and you don't have anything else that could boost attack or reduce magic resistance. This could be a used item. Now on to the main thing, which is the band, the units, everything that everyone wants to know about all the time. So Volti LR or Grass Volti, whatever you want to call him. He is pretty good. Uh, he is a good defense unit. He's... I know that most people think with the Phantom Bullet, oh, he must have like an insane amount of damage. Not really. He does 38,000 earth damage with his Phantom Bullet. Nothing too obscure. It's not like Simon where you'd want to get him if you see him. If you're a newer player, it, it's all right to have it, but I wouldn't say spend all your crystals on it because there's definitely things that you could be looking out for in the near future. Possibly some new generational ninja units that I'm going to go for. I'll talk about it when that comes. And now there's Commander Forte, which everyone knows, one of the best nuking support units out there. Gives you an extra 50 arc gauge as soon as you start a battle. And she also does boost the dark damage and humans units damage by 65% for 10 seconds, which is nothing to joke about. Quite good. Next there's Ari, which... I would have to say is probably one of the best units on this banner. Something someone might want to go for. And especially since I didn't get him last time, or her, I, I really can't tell. But anyways, I would definitely be going for this because I feel like this is a very good nuking grass type. And I don't think there's, I don't know if uh, Deadmaster is as good as Ari. I've never seen the two being faced off and seeing how much damage is being used like which one does more but this is definitely probably the best or second best so regardless it's a very good nuking physical grass type uh and also it does increase crit rate which is very nice next there's the one i'm not going to talk about most because she's not good next is the true barbados which does 12,000 earth damage physical reduces physical resistance by 20 seconds for 15 seconds and if an earth user is 10 percent more and when it's equipped by volti lr damage taken 10 percent down and will not flinch once and skill ct is reduced by 10 seconds or is sped up my bad it goes faster. I honestly think that the regular Barbados equip MK Roman numeral 2 is probably better than his true Barbados, but it's up to you. You can you can probably make it good either way. Next there's true Owen, which Owen? I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but regardless, it's Ari's true equip, which is probably one of the better grass equips in the game. It is very good with it increasing damage by 50% 50 per, 50 and earth damage by 70% for 15 seconds. You could literally run this on Volti LR and it would be good if you wanted to make him more nuking oriented, which I don't see why you'd want to do that since it's more support, but that is definitely something you want to get if you have any interest in any of the characters in the banner especially if you have a good grass type if you recently got dead master you really want this equip it's perfect on her very good will increase your attack exponentially that is basically all for the upcoming maintenance i hope you guys enjoy it and you get the unit that you want and especially since it's going to be christmas time i hope you all have a merry holidays there you go all right see you